Hey everyone, today we are going to see details about FSMO roles in Active Directory or which is also known as FISMO roles in Active Directory. These FSMO roles are used to manage the Active Directory. So agenda for today is we will see basics of Active Directory. So before we are going to see details about FSMO roles, we have to know the basic things about Active Directory to understand the FSMO roles. Then we will see details about FSMO roles and their types. Next we will see why we got the need of FSMO roles. Next we will see how to manage the FSMO roles. And in the last we will see details about FSMO roles with command and verification by, by using the command. So let's start with the Active Directory. An Active Directory is a Microsoft product. With Active Directory service, you can manage and store information about users, computers, printers, scanner, and devices in a network. The Active Directory contains information about all users in your organization. It contains information like the display name, telephone number, address detail, the email address of user, and in which department the user is working. So this is the like simple diagram for an Active Directory. The database name of Active Directory is ntds.dit. The ntds.dit file is the heart of an Active Directory. You can manage user's permission and authentication from this Active Directory. You can manage uh, the permission like whether the user can connect to a network or not, or whether the user will able to access the printer or scanner or will able to connect to VPN or, or, or not. And you can create security policy in your organization from this Active Directory services. And the server who controls the Active Directory are called the Domain Controller or DC. We will see details about the, uh, this authentication and authorization with a simple diagram. Let's say we have a user. Now this user is trying to access a server in an internet. Let's say the user is trying to access a action server. The use of the action server is for emailing purpose. Now when the user is trying to access or use this action server, this user need to provide its login credential that is username and password. Now this action server first transferred the login request to its domain Active Directory service as this action server is connected to this Active Directory. Here the Active Directory will verify the login details of this user. If the login details or the credential are correctly matched, then this authentication will get successful and the user will able to log into the action server. This is one example of an Active Directory or the use of Active Directory. You can create more group policy or modification of users or application by the use of Active Directory. Now we are going to see the types of FSMO roles. There are five types of FSMO roles. First is Schema Master. Second is Domain Naming Master. Third is RID Master. Fourth is PD Simulator. And the last is Infrastructure Master. These five roles can be installed on a single server or can be installed on five different servers as well. And these roles can be transferred or distributed so that they called as flexible single master operation roles. That is the FSMO roles. Out of these five FSMO roles, the first two roles are forest wide and other three roles are domain wide. So the schema master and the domain naming master are forest wide role. The RID master, PD simulator and the infrastructure master are domain wide role. You have only one schema master and one domain naming master forest wide. But you can have multiple RID master, PD simulator, and infrastructure master domain wide. Let's say you have a Windows server and you want to install Active Directory feature on this Windows server for a domain. Let's say the domain is computing.com. So when you successfully install Active Directory for the domain computing.com on this Windows server, the domain controller feature is get installed on this server. This domain controller is nothing but your Active Directory. And one forest hierarchy get created for this domain computing.com. 
The forest is nothing but your topmost logical container in an Active Directory configuration that contain domain, users, computers and group policies. In this Active Directory, all 5 FSOMA roles are assigned to this initial domain controller and this FSOMA role can be transferred if necessary. Let's say you have two domain controller for this domain, computing.com. Two domain controller means you have two different Windows server and have installed Active Directory feature on both Windows server. Now here you can keep two FSOMA roles on this DC1 and you can transfer the remaining three FSOMA roles to DC2. It depends on your requirement. You can move those FSOMA roles. Now we are going to see detail about every FSOMA roles. First we are going to see detail about schema master role. This is forest wide role. Schema defines the framework for the object that you are going to create in Active Directory. In this you can define the detail about what information will be stored about user account or computer account or group account in this Active Directory by this schema. In simple word, the schema says that like what information you can store for user account like for user account you can store details about the username, address of user, telephone number or the email address etc. And same for computer account or the other devices present in your organization. In Active Directory you can create a group policy or a security policy which can grant access to some secure devices in your organization. So if you want to grant access to some users to security policy, you just need to add those users in that group policy so that the user can get access to, to the certain devices or particular network or computers. And if you want to remove the access, you just need to remove those users from that group. Then the user will not able to access the secure devices or network or the computer. Next is Domain Naming Master. This is also a forest wide role. This role makes sure that you don't create a second domain in the same forest with the same name. Let's say you have deployed a domain controller or the Active Directory feature with the domain called computing.com within this forest. Then this role makes sure that you don't create another domain controller with the same name as, as computing.com. You have to use another name for a new domain controller. This role can be utilized in renaming the domain or moving a domain within the forest. The domain controller holding this role is also responsible for adding or removing the domain from the forest. Next is RID master which is also known as relative identifier master role. This is domain wide role. This RID master role assigns block of security identifier that is SID values to every object which is created in the Active Directory. These SID values are unique and they are not repeated within the same forest. The domain controller which holds this RID master is responsible for generating unique relative identifiers. This role is also responsible for moving object from one domain controller to another within the forest. Next is PDC Emulator. This role is responsible for authentication requests, changing password and managing group policy object. The authentication and password change request for all AD object is done by this role. And this role is utilized to synchronize the time between all Windows based computer within the enterprise. All the domain joint machines synchronize their clock to the preferred domain controller. And the last one is infrastructure master role. This is domain level role and there is one infrastructure master in each domain in Active Directory Forest. This role is utilized to update the group membership. Let's say you have, you have added one member to the existing group. Then this role will update to all other domain controller or global catalog server about the changes. It is required for multi-domain environment, not for single domain environment. And this role is responsible for updating the SID and distinguish name in a cross-domain object reference. Now we are going to see 
a few commands by which you can verify the details about FSMR roles. So below are the command that need to run in command prompt window. So first command we'll see is let DOM query FSMO. So this command will show which domain controller is holding what FSMO roles. So after running this command let DOM query FSMO. So these are the five FSMO roles and in the red uh, in the red area it shows the domain controller. I have hide that area. So you will see schema master role is installed on which domain controller and same way you can see the other four FSMO roles are installed on which domain controller. Next command is rep admin forward slash sync all forward slash adep. So this command is utilized if you want to apply force replication on the domain controller. Let's say if you have done any changes on Active Directory, users, computer object or any object or any group policy object within the domain controller and you want to replicate all those changes immediately across the forest then you can run this command, this second command. Next command is repadmin forward slash show repel. So this command is utilized to verify the ad replication. By this command we can verify the replication between across different domain controller within the forest. Now if you want to see to which domain controller the computer is connected or the server is connected, we can run the last command. So these are the details for basics of FSMR roles and Active Directory. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section. And finally. Thanks for watching.